Hi everyone, Stu Hill here from Chem Digital. Today I'm going to show you how to build the right recruiting plan in order to attract the right agents to your real estate brokerage or team. Now, as a real estate broker, your clients are your agents and your agents' clients are the buyers and sellers. But in order to become a broker, I'm so sure that you've done a transaction or two in your time. And that obviously involves some marketing, some follow up, things like that. Now, I would say that recruiting requires more follow up and more consistency than it does to just attract a regular client. You know, they say seven touches it's probably a little bit more than that i believe in recruiting it's somewhere around 14 touches but creating this level of consistency uh, is required to build the confidence necessary in getting somebody to move so first of all we want to attract the right people so that starts uh, at ba the basic level uh, figuring out what your objective is like what are you what are you here to accomplish as a real estate broker what's the goal it doesn't have to be saving the planet or something like that um, but if it was uh, if you have some sort of discount scheme if it's to offer some flexibility to the agent if it's to offer some additional services to the homeowner what's in the brand what's 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 the purpose of the business you know outside of just uh making money which hopefully you know, comes through uh, delivering on whatever promises you've set uh, that your brand wants to make. So that's the brand for the brokers. That's the objective, the mission, what we're what we're out to to achieve and change the world, etc. Um, next comes the employing broker brand, as we call it, and and employer branding is a thing in corporate America. Uh, you want to develop the culture, you want to have the right people, you want to attract the right people, you want to make sure they're behaving and representing your external customer facing brand in the right sort of way. So it's imperative that you uh, build a strong recruiting broker brand and stick to it. These deviations from a plan when it comes to recruiting kill the whole recruiting effort. You've got to be consistent, you've got to path them through a process a funnel, if you will, a bit of education, some meetings and follow up some takeaway materials such as a recruiting presentation, get that information flowing around there, some ads, um, you know, the brand everywhere, some systems in place that actually work, some documentation on the system. It sounds very complicated, but it's not. We remember we do this day in, day out. We build the systems, we build the tech stack, we simplify it so that you can scale without increasing the costs. We develop the recruiting broker brand for you. We get the ads done, we get the, we get the exposure out there as a package. And it, uh, you know, it's a formula that we put together. So we say, okay, this is what you're about. This is what you want to achieve. These are the people that we're going after. Um, and we'll start to target that market. So this is sort of the, the narrowing of the pool. Not every agent is right for you. And you are looking for a very specific type of agent. It, uh, you want to build a team with a group of people that are pretty similar in career stage, in personality, perhaps, uh, you know, maybe some differentiators. So you could put somebody else on task if it's not working out with a particular client on a lead that you've handed to them, let's say. But for the most part, if you can get a collective of fairly similar people, then it's quite easy to train those people or bring them up, lift the team up together, you know, good job team, high five. Um, as opposed to having a bunch of varying different personalities, uh, you know, that that obnoxious top, top, top producer and uh, and then brand new agents have no idea what they're doing. Uh, people in the middle that are just rogue. You know, if you've got a if you've got a consistent group of people at, at a fairly consistent place in their career, you can grow together. You know, you can add on, a, you know, there's always going to be the, the sort of top one percent in class kind of thing. But um, you can you can build a better program. You can you can invest in technology that works for everyone in the brokerage and provide services that work for everyone in the brokerage rather than having this mismatch of people wanting different things. You know, the top, top, top producer wants TV ads. The new person can't even nearly afford those sort of things. Um, top producers got their CRM. New new guy, new guy's got nothing, doesn't know anything about it, needs training on technology. It's easier to do this all together. So we we'll narrow the pool down to find the exact right person, your customer persona, and we'll start with just one of them, go after that person, 
and target them. So if we look at production numbers, remember we have a database of about 1.6 million real estate agents nationwide. This is pretty much all of the active licensed agents and by active, I mean, they've got an active MLS and local association membership right now. Um, so they're, they're ready to move. They're not, you know, just licensed or haven't received the certificate yet kind of thing. They're, they're, they're already, they're already active. So we'll, we'll, we'll narrow the pool with you. We'll send them emails a few times a week, um, promoting the brand. We'll get some emails out on social media, uh, sorry, ads out on social media, um, and, and really canvas that specific type of a agent. When you get into specifics about um, who we're looking at, so we can take that email list, we can load it into Facebook, we can load it into LinkedIn, we can load it into Twitter, um, and we can load it into our remarketing system. So anyone on that list is gonna see our social media ads. They're gonna be followed around the internet. If they open up the email, they're gonna see display ads here, there, and everywhere on Instagram. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, it, we're fully canvassing that group of people, but because the audience is narrower, um, and we've got this smaller pool of people, it's actually less expensive to do it that way. Um, we'll develop, uh, or you should develop a, a, a presentation that can be sent around to, uh, people within the local area that are applicable for, um, for recruiting. So, a uh, nice presentation. Surely, uh, I, I've got an example. If you want one, just pop me a message. Um, but I can send you Sotheby's, um, Keller Williams. We've got all these sort of recruiting presentations that we've done for uh, different people within the brokerages e for, from EXP, uh, like I say, Sotheby's, um, all of their recruiting presentations that we've put together in the past that work well. Just great PDF material. Uh, download this, send this. You know, reasons for hey, did you get the? Did you get the? Um, uh, the PDF I sent over to you, just you know, good reason to follow up. Like I say, same as a real estate client is to an agent. This it's the the follow up process from from agent to broker to whatever business you're in. Really, um, this all sort of follows the same suit. Keep, keep suit, but keep it simple. Um, once we have somebody on the hook, somebody that wants to move to your brokerage because they bought into your value proposition, we just need to deliver on the promises. So the onboarding has got to be a breeze. The tech stack's got to be set up. The, everything just needs to go very smoothly, look very organized. Um, and, you know, and that comes down to a lot of policies and procedures. So while if you're a new brokerage or team, you don't necessarily need to have your whole policies and procedures manual built out from the get-go, but you know a bit of a sort of communications plan to set the precedent of when we're communicating with people. You know, make sure we stick to that. Uh, write the emails ahead of time, that sort of thing. Uh, a agent training plan, some sort of meeting schedule, uh, a marketing support plan um, for the agents. Uh, you know, your your compliance and and contract review as deals come in, you can you can deal with that sort of stuff and and grow it. Something like a documentation checklist to make sure that the agent knows kind of what's expected and any brokerage specific disclosures that you require. Um, but most importantly, identifying what they're going to get. What uh, in terms of sorry, in terms of deliverables and commissions. Um, and technology, what they're going to pay for that. And so, you know, maybe some example commission breakdowns to just prove that that is exactly how it works out. No junk fees, no this and that. Just deliver nice and cleanly on the promise um, and implement it quickly and effectively, make it a smooth transition, and then put some sort of, uh, you know, put some time on the schedule and a few basic things in place. Um, again, we can help you with all of this stuff. So you know, fill out this form here to my right. Uh, if you need, uh, if you want to just chat about your recruiting, um, you know, happy to sit down and spend 30 minutes. We offer these 30 minute free recruiting consultations anyway. Um, so, you know, just, just jump on a call and, and talk about, uh, yeah, how you can structure it. If we, we integrate into that, that's great. If not, you know, obviously just, uh, take advantage of, of our knowledge from, helping other brokers all across the country for the last 15 years in recruiting their agents. Um, so, so as far as the plan goes, you know, we would look to integrate in on the recruiting side of things, uh, an actual recruiting plan, 
detail in who it is we're recruiting, how we're going to target them, what the follow-up process is, what the onboarding process is, have an onboarding process and plan for the agent so that you can set their expectations clearly uh, and deliver on it. You know, if we're targeting a specific group of people that are in the same category, the same place in their career, they are likely to refer to other people that are also in the same stages of their career you know come on friends come on over most recruiting happens by referral but you've still got to plant the seeds with a lot of people do a bit of follow-up you've got to have the brand out there so that that uh it's getting seen um and and it's familiar although maybe they haven't looked into it that much and then have somebody else kind of poke the fire and uh uh, and plant the idea in somebody's head, send over the recruiting presentation, things like this. Um, I don't really believe too much in this this override system. You know, a lot of the, the agents at EXP, at Keller Williams, at Exit, you know, they, they, uh, they like it. Um, I, I don't know how well some of them have done with it. I, you know, I think if you can build a brand that has value to it, then the referral should just be because somebody believes in that brand and it means you've done a great job um in 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 developing a, a brand that people believe in um as opposed to the sort of you know acn mary k model where there's just you know out to try and get people to join it join your company because there's something in it for them you know that i don't think that's as effective necessarily in the uh, in the in the careers world, you know, this is somebody's job, somebody's livelihood. It's a considered decision, and getting sort of yanked in, um, that candidate's probably not going to stay that long because they were they had their arm twisted by a friend, as opposed to actually bought into and believed the brand. Um, if you don't have materials, if you need materials, videos, things like that, we, as part of our recruiting program, we develop everything that, that we need to do the job right for you. Um, we take the lead on most of our projects. This goes from our websites to digital marketing to to uh, to everything that we do. Uh, if you 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 describe your goals, you know, go on selling real estate um, or recruiting your agents. We will implement the marketing plan for you. If we need to do videos, things like that, to describe the brokerage, the presentation, um, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, we'll we'll put it all together, make it happen for you. So again. Uh, please fill out this form to the right, schedule a 30 minute consultation with my team. We would love to chat to you and uh, get to know your brokerage and see where we might be able to integrate and uh, provide some value. Uh, thanks for listening. I'll be back soon.